Evers to push for more UW funding. Fire at Three Lakes Inn leads to water boil order. UW Stout Chancellor to retire. These and other regional stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Ash Wednesday, March 6, 2019. Governor Evers says he is looking to make a change in the way the state government treats education and the UW system. In a meeting with UW officials on Tuesday, Evers says that the Walker administration disrespected science in their cuts to funding for education. He is planning on providing $150 billion for the UW system in his budget proposals. The stop was part of his continuing budget tour. The Evers budget also would continue the in-state tuition freeze started by Walker. Republicans say that they will not support the billion dollars in taxes that Evers is proposing to pay for funding. The entire budget needs to be approved by the GOP-controlled Joint Finance Committee and the state legislature. A state lawmaker has introduced a bill inspired by a serial horse molester. State Senator Andre Jacques, a De Pere Republican, admits it is a crime that makes most people cringe. It is not the sort of thing you can talk to your kids about, but it is certainly very important that you find ways to deal with your deviancy. The measure provides criminal penalties similar to those in other states, and in addition, prohibiting individuals who have already shown that they were willing to sexually abuse an animal, that they are not able to have easy access to owning a pet or being in occupations like a bus driver or daycare, where they are going to be in contact with children on a regular basis. A Brown County man, Sterling Rochwell, has been accused of molesting horses for decades and is currently on probation for that. It certainly helps address the case, but also a lot of very similar cases, copycat crimes, is what really been going on issue in Wisconsin. While it might be as widespread as some forms of sexual abuse, we do see very strong linkages between animal abuse and abuse of children and other human sexual abuse. The bill passed the state assembly last session and Jacques says he is confident that it will pass both chambers this time. Residents in the Oneida County community of Three Lakes are being encouraged to boil their water before using it after a fire destroyed the Oneida village on Monday night. Crews were called to the inn at about 10.30 Monday night to find it engulfed in flames. Witnesses tell WAOW-TV that the building came down in about 20 minutes. Crews have not determined the cause of the fire, but say it might be weather-related. Shortly after the fire, a backflow issue was discovered in the Three Lakes Sanitary District, prompting authorities to issue a boil order due to the possibility of bacteria in the water system. While the bacteria is not harmful, it could cause conditions such as cramps, diarrhea, and headaches. Anyone who becomes ill during the boil order should talk to a doctor until an all clear is given. Residents are encouraged to use safe water or boil water before use. University of Wisconsin Stout Chancellor Bob Mayer is retiring. Mayer announced Monday that he will leave at the beginning of next school year on August 18th. He has worked at the university for 32 years, and in a statement, Mayer said, UW Stout will always have a special place in my heart. It is where I met my wife when we were both students here in the 1970s, and both of us have a bachelor's and master's degree from UW-Stout. 
He, is also, he also has a daughter who is a UW style graduate. And University of Wisconsin officials say that the search for a new chancellor will not start until August. An interim chancellor will lead the school through much of the next school year. Season ticket holders have received a letter about a 2019 season ticket price increase. A brochure that went out in the mail shows prices are going up anywhere from $1 to $6. It marks the 10th straight season of ticket prices hikes. For Christians around the world, today is Ash Wednesday, marking the beginning of Lent, which is always 46 days before Easter Sunday. Lent is a 40-day season, not counting Sundays, marked by repentance, fasting, reflection, and ultimately celebration. The 40-day period represents Christ's time of temptation in the wilderness, where he fasted and where Satan tempted him. Lent asks believers to set aside a time each year for similar fasting, marking an intentional season of focus on Christ's life, ministry, sacrifice, and resurrection. According to Christianity.com, during a special workshop service, there is a responsive passage of scripture, usually centered around confession, read aloud about the leader and congregation. Attendees will experience communal confession as well as moments where they are prompted to silently confess their sins and pray. After all of this, the congregation will be invited to receive the ashes on their foreheads, and usually as the priest or pastor will dip his finger into the ashes, spread them across a pattern on the forehead, and say, from dust you came and from dust you will return. Traditionally, the ashes are prepared from burning palm branches from the previous Palm Sunday. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Friday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.